All right, so in the last video, we mentioned this binomial formula, right? So this, this result here is called the binomial theorem, or the binomial formula, whichever you like. And it tells you how to multiply out powers of binomials, so things, let's say, of the form x plus a to the n. Um, these show up fairly frequently in calculus, so it's nice to know how to do this. Uh, these, these coefficients, these numbers that show up in front of each term, these are called binomial coefficients. Um, you sometimes read these as n choose k, and they come up in a number of contexts. Um, one of the contexts where these numbers come up, and the reason that we read this as n choose k, is that these numbers tell us the number of different ways that it is possible to choose k items out of a set of n items, right? where you don't care about the order in which you choose them. Um, so these sometimes go by the name of, you might have heard of permutations and combinations. This is the combination side of thing. Now, uh, a lot of people, when they're, when they're using the binomial theorem with some practice, they probably don't necessarily use the definition here to work out the coefficients when they're expanding. Um, a lot of people <coughs> remember this result called Pascal's triangle. And Pascal's triangle gives you a way of organizing these binomial coefficients. So Pascal's triangle starts with a 1 at the top. And actually, it's going to have 1s down the sides. So 1. So the next row is a couple of 1s. Um, the way you proceed for each successive row is you add a 1 on the outside. And in between, you look at the two terms that are immediately above, and you add them together. 1 plus 1 is 2. Right? To get to the next row, 1 on the outside. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 on the outside. Right? Next row, 1 on the outside. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and a 1 on the outside. Right. Um, do one more row. So 1 on the outside, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, 1 on the outside. Right. And this goes on, you can add as many rows as you want, right? This goes on forever. Okay, now. One of the things that you'll notice is that these numbers that you get, they are exactly the binomial coefficients, right? Um, so going across this top level is, is kind of k equals 0, if you like, or n equals 0, right? So this is 0, 1. Right? Because if you just do x plus a to the 1, you just get x plus a. 1, 1, right? The coefficients are 1. In the last video, we saw how to do x plus a squared, right? x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Right? So that's what you get for squaring. Here we recognize the coefficients. We did this one, right, for a cube. 1, 3, 3, 1. And the next row is fourth power. fifth power, and so on. Okay, So for example, let's say somebody asks you to do oh, let's say they want you to do x plus 2, and they want it to the sixth power. Okay, ah, well we didn't go as far as 6, right? So we'd have to do one more row. 1, 1 plus 5. 6, 15, 10 plus 10, 20, 15. You'll notice there's symmetry. So once I've got up to here, I can just repeat going back the other way. Right? I have those coefficients. So once I, once I have those coefficients, I can just write this out. I can say, OK, it's going to be x to the 6 plus 6 times 2 times x to the 5th plus 15 
times 2 squared times x to the 4 plus 20 times 2 cubed times x cubed, right? Plus 15 times 2 to the 4 times x squared plus 6 times 2 to the 5th times x and finally the last term is going to be 2 to the 6th okay and and I suppose if you were so inclined you could try to clean up these coefficients um, I don't know if we if we want to be that energetic but let's give it a shot x to the 6 12 x to the 5th um, plus 60 x to the 4 plus 160 x cubed. Um, uh, here's, the, here's the tough one, right? 16 times 15. Well, let's see, we just double four times. So double once, 30, 60, 120, 240. Check my math on these. x squared, 6 times 32. Uh, that's going to be 192, I think. Again, check on that, times x. Finally, 2 to the 6, 64. Okay, and you're done. All right, so, I mean, there's a bit of work involved. You've got you to gotta remember the formula, maybe remember the triangle. A bit of arithmetic here, simplifying those coefficients. Um, but compare that to if you had to do x plus 2 times 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 x plus, you know, six, six factors of x plus 2 and you had to expand the whole thing out, you'd be at it for a very long time, right? There's a reason we like the binomial theorem.